have you heard about AI agents? I would be surprised if you haven't. Right now, they are the talk of the town in Oracle Fusion. But what exactly are they? In this episode, you are not just going to learn about AI agents. You are going to build one yourself step by step all the way from setup to deployment. Here is how I will flow. First, I will introduce you to AI agents. Then we will pick a real world use case. After that, we will build our own AI agent and configure it according to our real world use case needs. Next, we will debug it together. And finally, we will publish our AI agent and see how our end users can use our AI agent in action. I am Siva Khoya, an Oracle Ace and certified professional. If you are ready, let's get started. Let's start with the big question. What are AI agents? Think of them as smart, interactive, virtual assistants built right into our Fusion application. They actually understand your company's data and context, and they don't just answer questions, they guide you towards the best next step using the power of advanced large language models, all while keeping your data safely inside Fusion. Now let's go through a real world use case. Meet John. He just joined the company and like any new employee, he needs to go through all the benefits information before enrolling. But here is the problem. The document list he need to go through is long and bit overwhelming. On top of that, John isn't sure which medical plan to pick. Should he go with the basic plan or would the premium option make more sense for him right now? That's exactly where Oracle Fusion's AI agent comes in. Instead of spending hours reading through the pages of information, John can simply ask the agent for help. The agent can summarize the key details, answer questions, and even recommend the best plan based on his situation. In this demo, we will see how to make that happen step by step. We will set up, test, and publish our AI agent together. So let's get started. I already logged into my Fusion application. Oracle AI Agent Studio is a dedicated application within our Oracle Fusion for building and configuring AI agents. To open AI Agent Studio, I will go to Tools AI Agent Studio. I'll click on Navigator, then go to Tools and select AI Agent Studio. Here you can see a list of ready to use AI templates that Oracle provides. These templates help us create AI agents quickly without starting from scratch. We can also search templates by product family to narrow things down. I will select family. I will pick HCM since that fits our use case. I will have to click on the search bar again to view the search results. Here we go. These are the AI agent templates provided by Oracle in the HCM functional area. I will select benefits policy advisor for our use case. There are two ways to create an AI agent. Either you can deploy out of the box template for straightforward use cases or copy the template to make it your own. For this demo, I will go with copy template. Now let's enter the suffix for our AI agent. This suffix will be added to the end of the delivered AI agent's name. So our custom agent and all its components have a unique identity. I will add the suffix and I will click continue. As you can see, this is the delivered template name and our custom suffix has been added at the end to make our AI agent team unique. Before we proceed further, let's understand how AI agents are made. Before we proceed further, let's understand the basics of AI agents. Even though we often say AI agents, the actual end product in Oracle Fusion is called an AI agent team. 
At a basic level, an AI agent team is made up of individual AI agents and each agent is powered by its own tools and topics. Tools are built-in capabilities that expand what your AI agent can do. For example, the email tool lets the agent send emails. The calculator tool performs quick calculations. The business object tool helps AI agent to fetch or update Oracle Fusion data. Similarly, there are few other important tools. Deep Link tool which lets us open a Fusion page directly from the AI chart. And the external REST tool allows the AI agent to interact with third party applications. Topics, on the other hand, are common instructions that you can share across multiple AI agents. Since now you know the building blocks of our AI agent, let's go ahead and continue building our AI agent. Since now you know the basic building blocks of AI agents, let's take a closer look at our AI agent that was created from Oracle template. Like I said, the end product is called AI agent team. This is our AI agent team that was created from template. You can clearly see it is created under agent teams tab. And our AI agent team is made up of one single AI agent that you see here. And our AI agent is powered by one tool and there are no topics assigned. Now let's take a closer look at the tool assigned to our AI agent. If I expand it and open our tool, we can see this is a document tool and right now there are no documents added to our tool yet. Let's copy the tool name. We will check in a moment if this tool was automatically created by Oracle based on our template. I will copy the tool name and I will close this window. Notice that there are no topics assigned to our agent. Like I said, topics are common instructions that we can provide across multiple AI agents. Next, I will click edit on our AI agent. Here we can see the agent name automatically populated, agent code. We can specify how many times our AI agent can interact with our tools and a brief description of our AI agent. And here are the main instructions that are provided by Oracle for our benefits policy advisor AI agent. Basically, you are defining the personality of our AI agent, its roles, responsibilities, and how it should behave. And most importantly, you are guiding it how to make the best use of the tool assigned to it through these instructions. You can make changes to these instructions. If you would like, I will keep the default instructions. I would say this is the heart of our AI agent where we can leverage the power of large language models. Now I will navigate to LLM tab. We don't have a choice to select the LLM model. This is where we can provide instructions to AI agent how to summarize the data when responding to questions. I will keep the default instructions. I will now come out of this page. Now it's time to save our AI agent. This is when all the tools that were added will be created on the fly. I'll go ahead and save my changes. Now our AI agent is saved in draft status. Now I will navigate to the tools tab and try to search for the tool. As you can see, this is the tool that was created based on the Oracle template. We can identify this based on our suffix and I can edit the tool that was automatically created and I can add a document. I'll click on drag and drop and select the benefits document that I created ahead of time for this demo and I can see my document is getting loaded. If you are curious, these are the details of the benefits offered by a dummy company. Now I'll switch back to document tool and input some of the details required. Now I'll change the document status to ready to publish. Now I will save the document status change and overall changes made to the document tool. The next step is to run a job to process our document so that AI agent can read and understand its contents. To run the job, I will navigate to Tools, Schedule Processes, Schedule a new process. Process Agent Documents is the job name and click Submit. This job doesn't have any parameter. Our job succeeded. Now if you open our tool 
and here you can see our document is successfully published. I will navigate to agent teams and search for our agent team. I am not able to find it. I know why. Can you take a guess? The reason why we are not seeing our agent team in the search result is because we are searching only for published agents. Since our agent team is still in draft mode, we need to switch to the draft tab and search again. After switching to the draft mode, I was able to find my AI agent team. Now I will open my AI agent team for editing. I will navigate to properties. All these details are populated from the delivered template that we copied. I'm not making any changes here. Now I'll switch to LLM tab. We will be using default LLM provided by Oracle. Now I will switch to the questions tab. This is where we can enter some starter questions that will appear when we open our benefits policy advisor AI agent. Now I will go to security tab and add employee role so that all people with employee role will have access to our AI agent team. I will apply my changes. I will now save all the changes I made to the AI agent team. You will notice that our AI agent is still in draft status. Before publishing our AI agent, we can test our AI agent by clicking the run button shown here. I will go ahead and click it. Here we go. Now our AI agent team is ready to answer our questions. We can also see the starter questions that we configured that might save users some time. I will click on the first question which asks to summarize the insurance policies offered by my company. After a few seconds, since we are in debug mode, system is showing what tool our AI agent will use to answer my question. We can even dig a little deeper. If I click on the angular bracket, here we can see the document ID details that this tool will use to answer my question. Here we go. Now we can see the answer to my questions, summarizing all the insurance policies offered by my company. Now I will ask my AI agent slightly a different question. Just to show you the power of LLMs, I will share my personal situation and needs and ask our AI agent to recommend best insurance policy for me based on my company benefits. As you can see, our AI agent has recommended the best insurance policy, one that can even help me to save some money. I will now go ahead and close my chart window. Please take a note that our agent is still in draft status. Once we are happy with how our AI agent works, the final step before making it available to end users is to publish it. I will go ahead and publish our AI agent by clicking on the publish button. After I click on the publish button, now you can see my AI agent is now in published status. By clicking on the Me tab on the application menu, end users can access AI agents available to them. All they need to do is click on the AI chat application icon. They can see the AI agents available to them. You can click on the agents available to them and search for them. This is how end users can access AI agents and get answers from them. And that's a wrap for today, folks. Now you know what AI agents are and how simple it is to set them up. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Oracle Cloud ERP channel for more interesting tutorials. Have a great day and see you in my next one.